I want to take a moment first to say what Allah said in Quran. And you better listen to that Quran. Ilamu and Allah Shadidul Iqab wa Annallah Gafuru Rahim. You better know that Allah is strong in punishing on the one hand, but on the other hand, he's forgiven and merciful. What, what do you mean? One quick example, because there's no time. On Yom al Qiyamah, Kafirs, those who reject Allah, won't be the size we are now. How big will they be? The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, gave an example. He said the tooth of a Kafir on the day of judgment will be the size of Mount Uhud. And the distance between the shoulders of a Kafir on Yom al Qiyamah is a distance of three days. Now, well, you see, you, why? Why? Why does Allah make the Kafir so big? Have you ever had a root canal? You don't know what a root canal is, do you? A root canal, when they take out your, uh, your, your nerves, the reason that you feel pain is because you got nerves. If you take out the nerves, you don't feel pain. I read this ayah from Quran. وَمَا مِن دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ رِزْقُهَا There is not an animal that Allah has taken upon himself to give it sustenance. I'll give you one example. What's the biggest animal that we know? The blue whale. The blue whale, 100 feet long. Weighing 200 tons with a tongue the size of an automobile and the heart the size uh, the tongue the size of an elephant and the heart the size of an automobile now Allah must feed his creatures so the blue whale what does Allah feed it it feeds them crayo like animals like shrimp like and how many crayo do they eat 40 million krail a day. How much does it weigh? Four, four tons. Why is that important? That's important because even in the hellfire, people will be so hungry and thirsty, Allah is going to feed them. Why so big? Two reasons I give you. Number one, لَيْسَ لَهُ تَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ the food of the people of the hellfire is so bitter that just a little bit sent down on the earth will spoil everything on the earth. Horrible taste and hot boiling water. And yet, despite of eating all of that food, poisonous food and the hot flaming water, that they will still want more. They can't fast in the hellfire. Number two, bad enough you mentioned, Farhan, being touching the fire in this life. Fire in the hellfire 70 times more. And then Allah will punish and burn the kafir into the fire until all the skin is gone. And then he put new skin and burn it again. And new skin and burn it again. And new skin and burn it again. Khalidina fiha. What country has the highest life expectancy? Let me tell you, Monaco. You know what the life expectancy of Monaco is? Like 90 years. Life expectancy. Quran mentioned it again, I told you. He mentioned it again. You ever stand in line? You ever stand in line to go on your plane or stand in line to go to a, a, a supermarket or standing in line? Well, what about Yom al Qiyamah? Standing. What do you think is going to happen on the day of judgment? You're going to be chilling in the Hilton? 
I'm going I'm going to wait till law judgment. Let me go sit in, in the Hilton. No. No. 50,000 years. And for you men and brother, sister, excuse me for a second. Give me a second. You men. Ask you a question. How many of you like and are attracted to women? Raise your hand. Don't be going like this. You like women? Huh? Attracted? The younger ones, okay, I, I, I give you a pass. But for you, brother, who didn't raise your hand, I want to talk to you later after this meeting. <laughs> there is a natural inclination of men and women, but be careful because this world is so messed up. The dunya is so messed up, so turn around. That men are as preoccupied. Oh, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. Oh, let me get on my e-pad, my iPad. Let me get on the computer. A woman, oh, there's a woman. Oh, there's a woman, a woman. Oh, woman, woman, woman. Oh, there's a woman. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. Are you serious? You like naked women? Huh? You like naked women? Okay, guess what? A young man, Kayama, the woman will be naked. There. Yeah. The prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said that we're going to be resurrected naked. And I used to say, Yaro Sulullah, won't people be looking at each other? He said, no, the affair is too much on that day. You waiting 50,000 years, standing there, waiting to be judged, sweating? The good news is that we're still alive. Being in the world as a stranger. Brothers and sisters, this world, this whole world is a deception. It is. It's meant to get you. Try to get you to go to the club. Try to get you to go to the bar. Try to get you to go to the party. You want to hang out with your friends. You want to be like your friends. And then, then why, we got, why we can't go to the club? Why we can't go to the prom? Why we can't do what they do? Why we can't dance with the girls? Why we can't do what they do? Because you have guidance. You have Quran. You have Sunnah. But the good news, the good news for the believer to see it, I, I can see it. Guess what? There's no ugly people in Jannah. For real, everybody's beautiful and getting more beautiful every week. Can you imagine for an eternal time getting more and more beautiful, eating and drinking? A brother told me Allah is the truth. Allah, a brother told me, Imam Saraj, if Allah bless me to go to Jannah, all I want to do is smoke me some weed. Yeah, what? You serious? Yeah, man, smoke me some weed. So I'm not going to smoke weed now. So that a Jenna, I can smoke me some weed. He ain't that far off. Because you can't drink wine now. But we'll drink in Yom al -Qiyama. You want wine? Okay. That's what we want. You get wine, but just wait, all right? So, brothers and sisters, I, I, I conclude. We have to go. I, I, I leave you with this. I leave you with this. You can't do it in a 10-minute talk or 15-minute talk. But I would advise each one of us to read, read the hellfire, the verses of hellfire. Study it. And the virtues of Al-Jannah. Study it.